Hello, welcome back. Last time I learned some new symbols and did a whole bunch of arithmetic with them. It was a pretty good time. Uh, so I loaded up the game, it replayed the intro, I skipped it, then I came here and... Um, voice clip played and I happen to remember the name of the line that I read for this. So there's no avoiding the outside knowledge I happen to have about this symbol. It was called ignore. So makes it pretty clear I just want to do that. Now that doesn't tell me like it's connectivity or anything, but I think it just means uh, probably just skip the very next gear. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, so this probably won't be... Okay, but it does do interesting things like you ignore an operator, so therefore you probably add those together. So that's 4 plus 4, yes. Okay. Um, so 1 plus... Was that 8? Yes. Uh, so 8. Just ignore those. Um, plus negative 4. Alright. What does don't ignore mean? Just don't ignore? Well, yeah, what's what's the inversion of ignore? Uh, do twice? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm gonna assume it's just don't ignore. One, two, three, four. And then two of those? Okay, yeah. So... So basically, like, if this appears to the left of this, instead of having this erase the one to the right of it, it erases the one to the left of it. Is another way to think of it, but it's more complicated than just... This inverts it into basically nothing. Well... Yes, that makes sense, because if you didn't ignore this, then this would be nothing. But you ignore the ignore... <laughs> All right, and that was the whole thing about the painfully modern meaning. Uh, I assume that's something, something, social media, ignoring, stuff like that. I don't know, though. All right, so, this big puzzle grid similar to the... this guy, to test my knowledge of this, presumably. So, negative four... minus... negative four... So we have 0 times 3 plus 4 of those, right? Okay, so something went wrong. Alright, so how did I parse that and what did I do? Invert 4. So my expression currently is negative 4. Completely ignore this. So my expression is negative 4 minus... Oh, that's 8, right. Negative 4 minus negative 8. So I have 4 currently, but don't do anything with that. So positive 4 times 3. All right, so I have 12. Just don't bother with that. Um... Oh, right, this is divided by, I forgot about that, 12 divided by 8. Okay, so with truncating integer division, that's 2? Uh, no, 1. Yeah, uh, why did I think it was 2? Of course it's 1, right. Um, yeah, 12 divided by 8, of course, it's 1. Okay, I understand. I've seen this symbol before, carved on talismans made by a South American tribe. It symbolizes an eye that looks at the wearer and imitates him, distracting evil spirits. Oh no, that but didn't what match. what can it mean here? What happened? Did I read it wrong or was the script wrong? Shoot. Uh, look at this as an eye. Now this one I have no idea. Uh, I don't even remember what the name of that uh, line that I read was. It might have been I? Anyway, uh, I have no outside knowledge about how this works. So, um... If I were to ignore this, for now, and attempt to just input this as it says... Then that does nothing, obviously. Uh, I can only see the one example of this. Let's make a few guesses. Let's say the direction it looks 
Whatever you see in that direction is ignored. That's not it. Let's say the direction it looks, whatever... Wait. What if this changed reading order? I mean, just making random guesses. It does not change reading order to go down and then like that. It's almost like you can sort of trace a path through this. Okay, let's trace a path through this. Wait, what if... Okay, so let's try something simple. What if it's just a down? It probably isn't. Uh, I mean, this seems dumb, but let's try that. And let's also try that. No. Okay, let me just... Since the number of these is pretty... Um, I wish I could repeat the line that I said there. Maybe I could... I guess if I quit the game and resumed... I don't think the line that I read had any hints in it, really. Just, it symbolizes an eye. And, you know, if this is an eye, it's clearly looking this direction. If it's looking in any direction. Um... Could mean double the thing it's looking at. Could mean I try and skip the thing that it's looking at. Do the thing it's looking at first. Do the thing it's looking at last. Do the thing it's looking at. Oh, what if do the thing it's looking at, then just go on with your day and do the rest of the puzzle as if it's not there anymore. There we go. Okay, so insert the thing that it sees at the position where you parse it. Okay, so that's a working theory that led me to, uh... Yeah, okay. So insert one of these. Just do that, because you reach it naturally in reading order. I reach this, and I insert one of these. And then I do that. Okay, that seems to be it. I have two confirmations, at least. Okay, and then when you get into numbers... Alright, so two plus two, plus, plus one, plus one. All right, uh, that's six of these. Got it. Okay, I have understood the I. Uh, 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 uh. Perfect. What if it sees nothing? Does it wrap around? For now, I will say if it sees nothing, it is nothing. Correct. Okay. Ooh, and they can see each other, of course. You see this. You see this. You see this. And then this is itself. However, what you actually see here... So let's say what you see is... I'm gonna say I need one more of those than I did. So like you... Look over here, and because you see one of these that also sees that, why would... Let's say something else. Let's say an eye cannot see another eye. So if I go forward with that, this sees nothing that is repeatable. Oh, but... Or maybe it sees something looking to the right, which makes it to look to the right... Then you just get in an infinite loop here. Let's say for now this means nothing. An eye seeing an eye does nothing. So, this is nothing. This is that. This is that. And this is that. I don't know which of those it is. But eye seeing eye does nothing does match with my solution here. I'm sure it will explain itself further. So let's go forward with eye seeing eye means nothing. You see you, which means nothing. I also wonder about occlusion. Like if there were something here, would this see it? I'm assuming the answer is no. However, that's that's assuming that my previous conclusion is correct. So nothing, nothing, one of these, one of these, another one of those, one of those, and another one of those. That is not it. Okay, so instead... 
something else is going on. Let me reparse this. I still get the same answer in both of these places. If it were to, once it sees one eye, change its direction. But again, if this sees this and changes its direction to right, then sees this and changes its direction to down, you just get stuck in an infinite loop here. So I don't think that's what it is. If this were to... Okay, no, I... I do know that this does not contribute to the puzzle, right? Or, okay, so here's another option. Either this contributes nothing to the symbols I'm typing, or it consumes the other eye that it sees, and this circle that I typed was actually this one, seeing that and consuming it and doing that. Then the second one I typed was this, doing that, then this contributed nothing, and this contributed the third one. So if I parse this that way, so you would see this, so that would be the first symbol. And I have consumed, oh boy, this is like more stuff to keep track of. Uh, you see this, so this is the second symbol, then you are consumed. Then I do this, then I do this, because those don't get consumed. You're gone, you're gone, then I do this. Well, that's not it either. Okay, so neither of my current leading theories of how this works are adding up to a victory here. Let me try both of those again, just in case I made an input error. So I was saying, go here, consume this, and do that. Go here, consume this, and do that. Do that, do that. You're consumed, you're consumed, then do that. Okay. Uh, so other theory was, this sees nothing, so it's nothing. This sees nothing, so it's nothing. Then I do this, then I do this, then I do this again, then I do one of these, then I do one of those. Okay, it is neither of those things. So how else can I read this? What's a third reading? that fits with the pattern of the answer being three. So this contributes one. So together, these three can only, in total, contribute two. If this were deleted from the puzzle, just pretend this isn't here, then this would definitely be the correct answer. So either this sees nothing, or it affects something else, causing a later parsed symbol to not see what it would have otherwise seen. And those were my two theories. So then maybe I have the order wrong here somehow. Because these are... So this has no order to it. It's all the same symbol. This has different symbols. So it's not just the number I need to get right, it's the order too. Um... Yeah, those just looked at nothing and therefore had no effect. Wait. Oh ho, I forgot about this puzzle. Wait, what? 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 How did this happen? What did I do? Here, wait, what? How did I parse this? I have no memory of this. Did I, like, accidentally see this facing this way? What happened? Because this would imply that this looks at that, absorbs its direction, and then repeats that instead. Okay, so let's say it is that, and there is infinite loop detection. So if it ends up in its original orientation again, then it decides to do nothing. Okay, so this creates a loop, and the loop ends right there. So then you do your thing, you do your thing, and then that's that. Okay, so look here, absorb that direction. Look here, absorb that direction, therefore end up with that one. So then you look here, absorb that direction, look here, absorb that direction, look here, absorb that direction. Wait, no, hang on. Uh, uh. 
Okay, so I'm you. I look at this, I reorient that way. Therefore, I look at this, and I reorient down, and then you land there. That's what it is. Okay, so then this, then this, then this, then this, then this. Okay, great. So yeah, I had just somehow forgotten that I had... To, I'm, I'm gonna have to look back at the video, because like I don't have any memory of determining that this rotates before I got here. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. These two are clearly marking a section of the sentence, like parentheses or a quote. Are they now? Okay, I can see how you would say that. Uh, I was ready to play with more eyeballs. I guess that was where eyeball territory ends. Uh, okay, so let's first do that. That's not it. Let's say that's ignored. Let's say that's ignored. So it's not just the region inside. It's not just the region outside. Um, what if you're looking this way and you get one of these? Then I get one of these naturally. Then you're looking this way and you get one of those. Then you get one of those. I mean, it's not another eyeball. So it's a bracketing of some sort. And based on their position, I can probably assume this is the open bracket and this is the closed bracket. Perhaps it mirrors what's inside it? Nope. Uh, what other action could you take on this? So you could reorder it. You could mirror it. You could double it. Okay, maybe it doubles it. Repeat. Not doubles, repeats. So if I had a sequence of left, right. Yeah, let's say this might be repeat. I also might be getting like a little prickle of memory from the voice line that could have been called repeat. I don't know. I don't have a clear memory of that though. Okay, well, this will tell me. Uh uh. Oops. Uh uh uh. uh. It does appear to be repeat. Okay. Uh. Two levels. This is unterminated. So if that's unterminated, then I'll just do this. Alright, so I'm inside a repetition. I go down. It could implicitly repeat at the end. I'll see how much space I have. Um, where was I? I was here. I'm inside a repetition. I do that. So end the repetition. Therefore, go down and this way again. Then do one of these. And I definitely don't have room to repeat the entire sequence. So without the closing bracket, I assume this just has no effect. Seems like it. So, uh, uh, uh. Ah, but the closing bracket perhaps has an implicit opening bracket at the start. Okay. Reasonable. This is nothing. Uh, this is repeat that, I think. So then this. Then what? I can't do this whole thing again. There's no room. Maybe because this already used up the implicit opening bracket, this just does nothing? Oh dear, okay, I think my mental model's wrong here. I mean, this does up, left, right, up, left, right, center. So to make it work with this, I mean, other option, it just goes back to the last... Hang on, so this is open, this is close, so those are just nothing. There's, I'm, I'm repeating nothingness. There, I did it. Uh, this is another close. So what if this goes back to the last open, not caring about other closes, and does that? Reasonable. 
So then you do that, so then you get here. Search backward until you run into this. Then go forward and get that and that. Then you're done, and then you do this. Okay. Yeah. Procedure worked. Okay. And if you reach the end, then that's that's where your search ends. Uh, all right, so up, left. <laughs> so that's, okay, so this inverts that. Therefore, you now face this way, search backward, hit this, do the up again, do the left again. Um, don't reparse this because like, I kind of think of this as like a pre-processor step. You know, you can, you could first apply all of these to the thing directly to the right of it, then evaluate the whole puzzle. So far with my understanding, at least, uh, that would make sense. So go this way, then search backward for one of those. That's not one because it's flipped. So you search backward, keep searching, then you run into this. So you want an up, a left, one of those, and one of these. Okay, that's wrong. So maybe you can't pre-process. Maybe this does search backward until it hits that and doesn't even see this symbol. Okay, so backward parsing doesn't run into that and therefore it doesn't apply. Okay, so let's say up left, repeat, up left, down left, search backward, note that there is an opening bracket here, go here, do that, and then do this. Okay, great. So this only applies when reading forward and it is not a preprocessor step you can apply beforehand. Well, <laughs> I discarded that theory pretty quick. Well, that looks familiar. Why are you here, puzzle? What are you showing me? This is it, the final panel. Oh. Will solving this repair or destroy the machine? But most importantly, will this return the world to the way it was? Only one way to know. Oh. Okay. Why were these? Okay, so a little shorter than I expected. Uh, can finish today unless this is like really hard. But I think I understand all the concepts. Why were these? I'm real curious about those. Uh, Alright, so if I have understood everything correctly, this should not be too bad. All right, so just do one of those. Begin. Uh, well, basically, I can just ignore this. It's only when I and hit this symbol that I and I'm reading backward that I have to pay any attention to that. All right, so. Uh, oh, jeez. Uh, okay, so you see this and presumably take on its effects. I've never seen this looking at one of these before, but I will assume. I basically, when I do this, I treat this tile as if it is this tile for uh, for that moment. So I currently have two in my numeric expression because there was one, then this saw this, it got repeated, and one more got added. Okay, so two times one of those. Okay. Uh, Look here, look here. That's a repetition, so from here I'm going to search backwards until I find this. Then go forward again. So, one. Repeat the one. Two times one of those. And then I reach the end of that and continue, okay? Uh, do not ignore this. Which means again, search backwards. And I, I know it, I've already evaluated this enough times. Um, wait, have I? Yeah, probably. I mean, it's two of these, right? Only have room for two more symbols. Um, let's do that actual parsing just to make sure I get no surprises. So I arrived here. Hold on, no, this is ignored. No, no, this is ignored. Don't, uh, don't do that. What did I think? this... No, but the ig ignoring is inverted, so don't ignore this. Right. Okay, so 
I was here when I entered those. So, negate, ignore. So ignore has been negated. So then I get here, I parse backwards. I wonder if when parsing backward I use this to ignore that. I don't know. Well, no. I mean, I'm not parsing backward, I'm only searching for this exact symbol. I found it. Evaluating forward this entire time. One, two times that. Okay, so two of those. And then you see this and put two more of those in. I mean, I'm full already. Something's wrong with my parsing. Oh boy, it's another of these. Because clearly there's one of those already, and I'm out of room. Okay, so what did I do? Have I seen repeat operate on a number before? Nope. Alright, so once again... Big messy place where I have to deduce a new behavior of a rule. Alright, so let's start with what I'm confident in. Obviously that's just there. Mm -hmm. So, take no action. One. I mean... Presumably that sees that and repeats that to two. Oops, what am I doing? Uh, this is a time sign. One. Two times one of these. Uh -huh. See this. See this. I did see that happen, right? Like back when I was playing with those. Now hold up. No, 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 I'm doing it wrong. Because this changed to one of those, then saw this and changed to one of those, and then saw this. You don't ping pong along them, you don't follow the path, you take the first one you see and change into it. Uh, yeah, so this sees a, okay, that's my error in parsing, got it. Okay, I found it. Just had to refresh my memory. Okay. So, no, that is that is correct. So it's two of those. You see this, you do that. This sees that eye looking down and sees ignore, so therefore you invert... You ignore the inversion, so therefore you ignore this and don't repeat any of that. Okay, so I'm done with this entire section. All of that evaluated to this. Great. So... One of those. Two. Okay, so ignore beginning of thingy. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. Uh, right, so I have two in my expression right now. Ignore that. Invert minus, so it's plus, plus two of those. Okay. So that was one of these. I did that. Two. Nothing because it's ignored. Nothing because it's ignored. Uh, inverted minus sign, which makes a plus sign. So two plus two of that. Okay, I did it. I got shot. Hmm. Should I press a button or something? Well, I guess I'm dead, so I can't do anything. <laughs> uh, I solved the puzzle, I think.
Is this the end? Uh, who shot me? Why did you shoot me? Okay, it continues. Oh, the game quits. Okay, I guess that's the end. Uh, okay, I think. Let me just, oh, well, <laughs> I start the game again, and this is what I see once my thingy catches up. Uh, well, <laughs> can't play that game anymore, I guess. Okay, I think I won, question mark. <laughs> All right, well, that was a cool game. Um, right, so that was a jam game made in like a week or something. Um, pretty short amount of time. Very polished for, uh, for such a short development cycle. Yeah, I had a great time there. That was cool. Uh, I would totally play more of those puzzles. Although, I mean, I guess there's only so much you could do with the concept, but that could support, like, at least twice as many puzzles as were there. Alright, cool. That was neat. I guess I didn't fix the world. <laughs> Somebody shot me in the head instead. <laughs> okay, that's the ending. Alright, well, I'll see you again for another game, I guess.